What do we want from our car? We want to take it from point A to point B with maximum pleasure for passengers. And I'm going to share with you our vision and action we are doing to make it possible. My name is Tamara Bakst and I'm co-founder and CEO of VizIC Technologies, a company that I founded about 10 years ago and that is focused on automotive market as a core. My personal dream had been always to be part of this exciting action to make the car better. So what is important for the car? All software additions, all software improvements, you heard so much about it today, are very important addition to core value. The main core value of the car is the driving. And we want to make this function better. And when we think about car of the future, we think about electric car. Powerful, high-performing, pollution-less, noise-less, which is personally important for me, and probably the most important, affordable electric car. And these electric cars are planned to be manufactured in millions and tens of millions of units between 2025 and 2030. All major car manufacturers promised to manufacture majority of their car park being electric. What the main problem of these cars? Manufacturing cost. The fact that manufacturing cost of electric cars are more expensive than combustion cars. Electric car has manufacturing cost 20 to 25 percent more expensive than combustion car. And as you can see on these numbers, majority of this cost is coming on battery. That's right, electric battery cost dropped dramatically during last decade and currently is, it is around $137 per kilowatt hour and it is planned to be as low as $100 per kilowatt hour. But if you look at numbers, you will see that this is not enough to make electric car comparable in cost to combustion car. So we need to invent new methods to offset high battery cost. What can we do in this? We can make our powertrain more efficient. Before going to details, to technical details, I want to stop for a second on the powertrain of electric car. Powertrain of electric car is much simpler than that of combustion car. And essentially, it is a big battery, electric motor that converts AC current to motion of the wheels, and the part that connects between battery and electric motor. This part called inverter, and if you compare electric car to the body, inverter is a heart of this body. And essentially, inverter is responsible for total power of the car. When we say 100 kilowatt, 200 kilowatt car, that's a power of inverter, to acceleration speed, and also driving range of our car. Central part of inverter are power switches, semiconductors, which power switches essentially doing this power conversion between DC current of battery and IC current of motor. And the importance of these power switches is also reflected into cost. Today, we have between $200 to $500 power switches per car. Efficiency of powertrain is critical for driving range. Just think about it. If we make our inverter more efficient, we can use the same electricity stored in battery and drive longer range. Or we can have the same distance and make a battery smaller. So essentially efficient power inverter makes typical trade-off between longer distance and the battery cost simpler for designers, simpler for car makers. And this is a proven fact. Tesla in 2019 converted the Model S from silicon to silicon carbide, improved efficiency of powertrain by 4% and increased driving distance by 10%. 
With new technology that I will talk about, we can improve efficiency of powertrain between 5 and 10 percent. And so driving distance or battery size could be significantly improved. In this case, we will save battery energy, we will make size of inverter and all powertrain more compact and smaller, we will reduce heat dissipation, and we will bring 10% smaller battery or 20% longer range. To make all this possible, we need to reduce power losses. The best way to reduce power losses is to jump to new technology because power switches are responsible for more than 90% of power losses in inverter. New technology that is coming to replace existing one is called gallium nitrate. And let's look at numbers. On this graph, you can see that silicon carbide technology that came to replace silicon is three times better in a critical parameter affecting power losses. This fact had been foundation for decision of Tesla, which replaced silicon components by silicon carbide components starting to 2018. Gallium nitrate products are five times better in this parameter compared to silicon carbide, and that's not all. Gallium nitrate has also cost advantage because gallium nitrate is about half of manufacturing cost and it is not only easier to manufacture, it's more affordable to manufacture. GAN today is manufactured by standard silicon factories. I want to pay your attention that these numbers are not academy numbers. These numbers have been measured on power switches products, comparable power switcher products, made by our company, by different companies in gallium nitrate, by silicon carbide that is used by Tesla, and on silicon components which are used by 90% of electric cars today. The huge advantage of gallium nitrate you can see is possible because gallium nitrate belongs to family of wide-band gap semiconductors, so-called third generation of semiconductors coming after silicon and silicon carbide. And the physical feature is that gallium nitrate is able to withstand more than three orders of magnitude higher voltage and deliver more than two times higher current compared to silicon. People knew about these advantages for the last 70 years, but it took time to make this technology commercially viable. Today, gallium nitrate is successfully commercialized for raiders, for consumer power delivery products. Understanding all advantages of gallium nitrate, in our company, we developed Deep Power 3 GAN platform, direct drive, DMOD gallium nitrate. And this platform is scaled both in voltage and in level of power. This platform is specially tuned to build high efficient inverter and to work in automotive industry. And it brings unprecedented combination of performance, reliability and cost. On this platform, we made modules which could be easily used in design of inverters. We made discrete devices which allows more flexibility for customers. And we made single die chips which have an unprecedented combination of lower DSO, high current and lowest in industry switching classes. On these products, we made designs which had been tested by us and by our customers both inverters and onboard chargers and evaluation boards and reference designs on 400 and 800 volt nodes. I think you are asking yourself if gallium nitrate is mature enough to start to use it. The answer is yes. During the last two years, our devices had been extensively tested by global major OEM companies and tier one companies, including such a reputable company as ZF, to develop inverters and chargers on both 400 volt and 800 volt. And I'm confident that in 2030, the best cars, the best electric cars in all categories, 
low cost urban cars or high performing supercars will have gallium nitrate devices inside. And we are doing our best to bring it closer to reality and to make the cars better. Thank you for attention.